because Moody's making a comeback and a run at another World Finals. Come on, JB Moody fans, let's go. Let's help him. Come on, JB. Get up, let's go. Come on. Do it. He got it. Wow. Whoa. Uh oh, oh, oh. Oh, look out. Craziness, but JB Mooney. Welcome back, JB. Look at that look on his face right there. JB Mooney fans, what do you think about that bull ride, huh? Look, I'm with you. You're watching the Shifton's Big R replay. I'm going to tell you something. I truly believe this ride is bigger than the numbers. He was at a rodeo earlier this week. The guy is dialed back in, folks. The 33-year-old world champ is back. He's got his sights set on the world finals. He's got a qualified yep. ride in round one. 85 points you for bet. Mooney. He's on the board. Ooh. Nice job, champ. J.B. Mooney, J.B. Good bull ride in round number one. You've been working on your shoe procedure. You've been working on the riding part of it, but the get off, man, it's got to get some work. Uh, yeah, that's true, but <laughs> they don't pay you for getting off. So <laughs> That's a great point right there. Let's take a look back at this bull ride in round number one and Let's talk us through here. how you're feeling. I'm going to say You can talk anytime right now, JB. Felt, felt really good. Boy kind of stumbled. Uh, kind of dropped me off in there. Looked like I picked him up good and a horrible dismount. But that's par for the course. That's normal for me. Well, they don't pay you, but if they did, you could pay the doctor bills because those yes. add up, as you probably know, when we talk about all of the bulls, the rank bulls here in Billings. This is such a prestigious event to win. And uh, it's because you got to get by the rank bulls in the championship round. Speaking of rank bulls, the Yeti top bulls are going to be here this weekend for sure. Bulls like Smooth Operator, Chiseled, they're all there. And they're bulls that you've ridden. Yeah, uh, you know, Smooth Operator, I want to get on him. Haven't been on him yet. Chiseled, same with that one there. Uh, you know, my error. Well, Bruiser's still in there, so we're still good. I rode yeah. him a couple times. So. You got him. Well, I mean, you know, we talked about it before in the past couple of broadcasts so where you have ridden every world champion bull since 2007 except for Smooth Operator, which you may have your eye on, and it could be this weekend. I do. I've got my eye on him. Uh, you know, that streak right there is not one I want to break. I want to keep, keep going at them ranked bulls and uh, kind of to prove to myself that I'm not washed up and I don't need to retire. I can still ride the ranked bulls. Kind of like the last time I won here when somebody I know told me to pick a different bull, and I said, no, I want to pick Bruiser. <laughs> That's exactly right. I did tell you not to pick that bull, and you did, and you won. You also won in 2007. Let's take a look back at 2007 at the young J.B. Mooney. As you can see, he's got a regular what? shirt on, some regular old shaps. Those shaps right there rode a lot of bulls, good yeah. bulls, like that. And I knocked my little buddy Brian Kenner off the stage. Sure enough, look at the youngster right there. And Brandon Bates. Look how young Brandon Bates. No, that's not Brandon Bates. Oh, he would love that. Yeah. That was Randy Smut. Sorry. 2017, this was a monster ride. Yeah. Bruiser, anytime I had a chance to pick him, I always did because if you did every, if you had all your ducks in a row, you could ride him and you were over, you know, 92, 93 points on him every time. So uh, but if you stumped your toe, he'd make you pay for it. And a big time win right there with a huge score. That is one that everybody will remember for a long, long time. Seeing it in person was pretty spectacular, man. Uh, it's been pretty amazing to see what you've been able to do. And I'm glad that you got yourself a score in round number one because this is very detrimental right now. You're in a position where you're not used to being in because of the injuries you faced. Well, you're like 100th place or something, maybe 107. You're really trying to work your way up. But as we know, when J.B. Mooney gets back in the corner, you come out swinging. That's what I always try to do. You know, when I showed up here, I want, I want to leave sitting first here. And so far, the only place I looked and seen I was sitting first was in the intro list, and that's not where I want to be first at. <laughs> no, that's not, because that is usually the last place bull rider coming into this event. But 
JB, I appreciate you coming here. I'm going to be looking forward to, along with everybody else watching Ride Pass C, you come back with a third win at this event. So we'll let you go sip on that yellow jacket for your Coors Banquet celebration. But remember, when you're celebrating, go celebrate responsibly. More bull riding in Billings when we return.